That's it for today's school news. Let's see what Griffin has with sports. Thanks, guys. Yesterday, senior Kyle Heslop was named to the MHS FCA Academic All-State Team for his work on and off the football field. Well-deserved honor for him. Congratulations. This evening at 6.30, the boys' varsity swim team has a double dual meet at home against Cranbrook and Livonia Stevenson. Come support your boys. In national sports, the Carolina Panthers lost to the New Orleans Saints 12-9. Both teams had lousy offensive performances, but the Saints just managed to edge out the Panthers. The Saints further solidify their case for home field advantage in the playoffs. The Panthers, on the other hand, add to their losing streak and are at the bottom of the wildcard race. That's it for today's sports report. Now back to the desk. The girls swim and dive team finished the regular season with a 10-3 dual meet record. The Wildcats are moving on to the championship meet phase of the season and will compete in the KLAA JV championship meet on Saturday. Boys cross country as the regional meet Saturday morning. Varsity runner Matt White is hoping to place top 15 to qualify for states. Good luck, boys. Don't forget to vote for Novi running back Josh Erno, who is up for M Live's Football Player of the Week. Check out our Twitter for the link to vote. In national sports, the Miami Dolphins lost a tough one to Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans 42-23. Texans move up to 5-3 and, and the Dolphins fall to 4-4. Four four. That's all for your Friday sports report. Now back to the desk. Novi's advanced dance team competed this weekend and received first and second overall. Intermediate also competed and received first overall. Well deserved honor, you guys. Boys Swim and Dive Team earned another dual meet victory on Thursday evening with a 148-38 victory over Plymouth. Junior Adam Carroza destroyed the competition in the 200-yard freestyle by a margin of 8 seconds. The win improves the Wildcats' record to 9-1. Congratulations, boys. When thinking of sports, most people don't think of bowling. This week, we decided to shed some light on the often underappreciated bowling team. Here's Emily McNichol with more. The varsity hockey team plays Wyandotte away tonight at 7.30. Go support your boys. That's all for your Monday Sports Report, now back to the desk. Varsity Palm had their state final high kick competition this week and it finished sixth. Tryouts for girls basketball are today. Make sure to register and be ready by 2.15 to get some practice shots in. In national sports, the Lions got beat down by the Bears, losing 22-34. Mitch Trubisky lit the Lions up, passing for 355 yards and three touchdowns and running for another. The Lions sit bottom of the division at 3-6 and, and the Bears lead the North with a 6-3 record. That's it for this week in Sports Report, now back to the desk. Thanks guys. This week's Player of the Week highlights figure skater Emily Tonus, who was recently honored as the Skating Club of Novi's Skater of the Year. Renee has the scoop. Novi Varsity Swimming will host their final dual meet of the season, tonight against Salem at 6.30. This meet will include the boys' senior night celebration, and if they win, they'll improve their season record to 10-1. Now that football season is over, many of us NFL fans have a hole in our heart that needs filling. Fortunately, this year we have our savior. Charlie Ebersol created a new football league, the Alliance of American Football, to keep football season going for a few more months. If you're interested, tune in to CBS this weekend to watch week two. That's it for today's sports report. Now back to Win and Joe.